do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drew So we back right now. There, baby, body, bang you. You feel me? Listen, I already am, man. I'm already mad. I just read the title of this freaking video. And I'm already pissed the heck off. Simba, I know you're mad too. Y'all heard him just meow and this man just be, just be talking for no reason. But today, we finna be reacting to Simba. Are you done? Come here, man. I'm tired of hearing all that noise. But we're gonna be reacting to this woman cheated on her husband the day, I mean, cheated on her fiance the day before they got married. And guess who she cheated on him with? Her husband or her future husband or was supposed to be her husband, his best man. I don't know if you guys know how weddings are set up, right? You feel me? You got the bride, you got the groom. You got the you got the groom's best man. The groom's best man is usually the guy that he is the closest with. Whether it's his brother or his best friend, it's just the closest person he has to him. And he cheated, he clapped his best friends or brother, whatever it is, he clapped her cheeks today before she's supposed to get married. This is just sad. Man, I just, this video just popped up on my recommended. I was like, bro, I gotta watch this. And y'all know I love watching videos with y'all, and y'all love watching my reaction to these videos. So, we finna hop right into this, but like the video right now for more reaction videos. And, joy.com, I see my two third free bundle up to yourself for the dollars. Cop yourself a super sexy Jurag, because anybody that wears a Jurag will not get cheated on. That's, just a that's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. It's not a money back guarantee, but it's a guarantee because you're super sexy with a shoe rag on. That's all I'm saying. Who would want to cheat on you? Let's really be honest here. But I got my snacks. You know what I'm saying? I got my power booties. This is the only booty I eat. You know what I'm saying? Destiny. Yeah, hey, feel me. But um, without further ado, it's just hot running this, man. Pray for me because if I get mad, I don't punch my computer. Because this is just so stupid because this stuff happens. And this stuff happens. This happens all the freaking time. It just, that's just so freaking sad. Man, come on, let's watch it. Well, it was completely different, Your Honor. Yes, we were at this wedding. She looked like the type to cheat, but I don't know who would cheat. Who would? Who would? I don't know who would club that. I don't know. Everyone was very drunk. I went with my best friend to the hot tub at the hotel, and like, it got a little bit crazy. We started making out. Is that the husband? His best man, his best friend, came in, and I probably should have like not let that happen. But it was just like a, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a silly like drunken like. Being silly in a hot tub. Yeah, he showed sure. up and went completely crazy. I apologize. I, I I don't think it was something to call a wedding off of. Javon, I understand you are suing to get an engagement ring back that you get. Man, I'll be suing her for more than that. Emotional distress. I'll be suing her for emotional emotional abuse. I'll be suing the I'll be suing everything out of her. I'll be suing her for everything she got. I promise you, forget just getting the ring back. But of course I'm gonna get that ring back. But I'm suing you for your life. Hey, this young lady over here. Correct. Okay, explain. It's not so much about the money, you know, it's more about the sentimental value that the ring holds to me. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, my grandfather actually gave that to my grandma. Oh, and it's the grand. You cheat. How you go cheat wearing the engagement ring of his grandfather, but of his grandmother's ring that his grandfather gave to his grandma? That's a, you had your hand wrapped around somebody else's peanut wiener. The same hand I got the ring from generations before. She had the ring. I'm not gonna do the demonstration because y'all be doing, y'all be clipping my videos at the sus parts and posting it just as it is with no context. So I'm not gonna do my hand in the sus way of the way she was grabbing the thing. But you know she was grabbing that thing with the ring, with the hand, with the. You know what I'm saying? So it's very near and dear to my heart. You know what I mean? I have the, the ring actually appraised at 12.5, so. Wow, must be beautiful. So explain to me what happened. About a month before our actual wedding. Um, one of our friends had a wedding that we went to. We have, you know, very tight-knit friends. At the party, you know, the drinks were flowing. We we're having a great time, and I noticed she was missing. So went around looking for her, and I actually walked in on Cynthia with another man and another woman. But it wasn't just any man and woman. It was actually my best man and her maid of honor. So I imagine you... Well, what's really going on? She had it. She cheated. Just watch the video. Shocked. Completely. Okay, and what happened after that? So, you know, I kind of thought in my head maybe we could work it out. Just Ain't working it out, man. I'll work out. I'm figure. I'm going to work out how I'm going to pay my the bail money to get me out of jail after killing all three of them. 
That's what I'm gonna work out. One of those things, yeah. You know, okay. I, I do love it. So you, you wanted no, to work out. She started screaming, screaming. What else is he supposed to do, you whore? I went crazy. Screaming? Yes, you went crazy. crazy. It was, Your Honor, he's making it seem like it's a way bigger thing than it was. Oh my goodness, what did he do? Tell me. Well, it was completely different, Your Honor. Yes, we were at this wedding. Everyone was very drunk. I went with my best friend to the hot tub. With okay, I'm gonna stop pausing it so much, but listen, y'all. If you drunk, right, you, you, you being drunk does not make you change who the heck you are. If you're drunk, you're not gonna go and just stab a random person, right? So if you're drunk and you cheat, you had cheating in your heart already. You were still possible, you you're still capable of cheating sober. It's just the drunkenness made you do it faster and you're more, you're more open to doing it. But soberly, you still would have cheated. You still, so you still had cheating in your heart. See, a type of person like me, I'm being 100% serious right now, I would never cheat sober or I don't care how freaking drunk I get, I would not cheat because it's not in me. It's just not a part of me. That's like saying if you're super drunk, you're gonna go and strangle your child or something like that. It's just not in you. You feel me? Like it's, 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 you hear what I'm saying though? But I hate when people use that excuse, oh, we was drunk, I was drunk. What the, what, what does, what does that mean? You're still you. You still have control over your body in certain ways. It's not completely changing who the heck you is. I was saying, I'm sorry, I just had to preach y'all real quick. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop pausing this so much. We're just pissing me off. I'm finna punch this screen. Hotel. And like, it got a little bit crazy. We started making out. His best man, his best friend came in and I probably should have like, not let that happen. But it was just like, a, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a silly like, drunken, like being silly in a hot tub. Yeah, he showed scary. up and went completely crazy. I apologize. I, I I don't think it was something to call a wedding off over. I understand that he was upset. Me, I understand you were upset, but I don't see why he had to call off the whole wedding. I didn't want to call off the wedding. How did you? You big foreheaded idiot! You idiot! After, how did you feel when you saw your fiance and he walked in on you with your friend and his best friend? Your Honor, I was surprised that he was so angry because everyone was so drunk and just, I, I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. What the so f- You don't think it was a big deal that you cheated on him? I don't, I mean, it, it was just making out. I didn't even really think it was cheating. I was wet. So if you call him tonguing down a random blondie, you're gonna be like, oh, it's fine. It's not really cheating. He's just bloody tonguing the down, sticking his boy, he tongue down her bloody throat. That's what the heck you gonna think, Samantha? You freaking idiot. Hey, everyone's drunk. I mean, I don't, I don't even have a good comeback for that one. Thank you. I'm, 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 I really knows. don't. I'm usually really quick, and I can. I, I just don't. I, I don't. I don't got one either, Christina. I mean, that was about it. After that, um, you know, I told her she had to leave. I, he gave me like he said you have to be out in like three days. Oh, oh hey, no, but you get three days. You got three minutes max before I start airing this joint out. I ain't gonna hold you before I start. Before I start airing this joint, you got three minutes, man. Now, three days, three days. Yeah, I. Right. Well, I haven't given you three days. You're lucky you got three days. Thank but you. anyway, um, so so, it, so you had to move out. Correct. Um, and you know, like I did a little bit of investigating, and afterwards, um, I have a question for you before you tell me because I know the witness is here. So you broke up with her, right. you gave her three days to leave the right. apartment. Did she leave reluctantly or was she like, whatever, I'm Oh leaving. yeah, no, she just picked up and left. There was nothing for her. I thought that maybe if you had a little bit of time to cool off and let this blow over, that it would be- You not winning this, lady. You not winning this. You not, you, you not winning this. Shut up. We'd be okay and we can okay. talk about this and work it out. All right, did you ask for the ring back? Yes. And she said no. Correct. Very Your Honor, in the state of California, the law states that this is an unconditional gift. Okay. So I'm entitled to the ring. Did you think it was morally appropriate for you to keep that ring? I did. Why? I was heartbroken. Why do you mean? Are you heartbroken? I, I'm sorry. I've been trying not to pause this mother effing thing, but I'm just getting so I'm just getting so pissed off, bro. Here with that ring. Because I'm still ready to get married. It was but given he to me. Want to marry you. It was given to me as a gift, and I. Accepting that to you as a gift that you were going to be faithful and you were going to honor him for the rest of your life. I'm still ready to to I make that commitment. You dumb, you dumb. Oh, you so. Oh my days, bro. That commitment is. So then, anyway, how many times did you try asking for it back? So many. I reached out to her via email, um, sent her text messages. She wouldn't say, "Sorry, I'm keeping it. It's mine." Nothing. In the I, state of California, I would have wished she would even said that. I got no response Nothing. at all. She just ignored you. Correct. 
that really tried, you were really trying to work things out, weren't you? Yes, I wanted him to cool off. How, long How are you been? trying to work things out if you're not responding to them? You're so, oh, I'm mad that he even proposed to that girl. Um, Did you try to get the ring back? No, I mean, up until just about now. It was about three months ago, Your Honor. So no response for three Nothing. months? Nothing okay. wrong. All right, so then you find this uh, friend that you have in common or mutual on your online personal accounts, Correct. and what happened? So I remember his name was Adam Vincent. Mm -hmm. So I went up into a little search thing and found his name. Um, and I remember his profile picture. So I pulled it up and I looked at him and I just said, hey, you know, I'm just a little curious. Like, how do you know Cynthia Bennett? And oh, you know, it definitely struck a nerve. You know, I asked him, I said, hey, would you be opposed to going and grabbing a drink? Let's just go down to the bar and grab a drink and talk about this. You know, it's a little bit more personal. And so me and Adam went and we had a drink. Um, and I mean, that was just the last straw. That's when I decided that. Adam, why don't you court. stand up and tell me, do you know the witness? Let's go, Adam. That's my boy, that's my brother right there. He finna do something. I'm sure he finna help this case. I, I, I hope you. I hope you spit on this girl. Spit it? Yeah. Yes, Your Honor, I do. You do. Okay. Oh, yeah. You intimately know the witness. Yeah, I can't believe that he's here today. This is. Yeah. I bet you can. Yes. Okay. Yeah. From right. several so, years ago, I know. So, the uh, Mr. Vincent, why don't you tell me what you shared with Mr. Vaughn? Um, well, so Cynthia is my former, you know, and fiance. Oh, um, fiance. Ow! 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 Former fiance. So she was proposed to two. Two goofballs fell for her act, bro. Two goofballs, you dead serious like that, bro? Y'all lucky I don't cuss, bro. I have been cussing this mother, bro. One of these days, I'm gonna start cussing. One of these days, I'm gonna start, that's all I'm saying. One of these videos is gonna make me start cussing ever, and once I start cussing, it's over. I'm never stopping, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm freaking saying. One of these days. Seven years ago, you know, so this is far, far back. We met our mid-20s. Um, great time. She's a great girl, you know, likes to party. She's very spoiled. You know, I spent a lot of money on her. Um, we traveled, you know, uh, of course, you know, I eventually, like I said, and get, you know, I proposed to her. Um, she accepted the proposal. Uh, we were getting ready for our marriage. Um, I'm a finance man, you know, um, work long hours, long shifts. How do you get these guys? I'm saying, bro, how do you? Sorry, not what you, Judge. You show show her. Good looking professional guys. What about you? You ain't nothing. Your head is built like Homer Simpson off of The Simpsons. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm um, so confused. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm confused too, man. So, um, what so um, you um, know, I come home, um, literally, I kid you not. Uh, my baby brother and Miss Cynthia are literally having sex in my bed. And, and like, brother, bro? This is why I be so scared of like, relationships, man. Because I be watching these videos, I be thinking, like, bro, you really don't, you, you, you really, you gotta, Never mind, I ain't gonna say that. But it's like, like um, this stuff really happens, bro. Like your little brother, man. It, it, it threw me wow. off. Wow, were you drunk? Was it just a mistake? Uh, say you was drunk, lady. Say you was drunk. I promise you. This was seven years ago. I was like 22 years oh old. God. I'm 22 and I ain't stupid. I'm 22 and I'm not like that. It was a mistake. I apologize. That was yes. that was wrong. It's always a mistake when you um when you perform. So then, what like did anything. she say to you? How but, did she um, respond? I mean, once again, like I said, it was it was such a horrible you know just scene. So you know, I, I leave the house. I probably just reach out to her a couple of weeks. Like, hey, I just want my ring back and get her ring. I spent ten grand on it. Yes, ma'am. But um, she hit me with this this California law. I proposed to her in California. She's a California resident. Is that I'm what California she told you? <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know what to tell you when it comes to Cynthia. Like I said, you know, that's what I'm saying to your next Mr. Bond. Love me, love Bond. How many times have you been engaged before? Your Honor, I have been engaged twice. I, twice? I love... Well, I mean, twice that we she tells you. Yeah, that we know. That's what she's telling you. I mean, your Honor, I love... It's a good I love business. business. It's a good business. Young. Business. It is a good business. She making like 10K, 10K or whatever. Doing nothing. Just, just, just treason. I'm too young to be engaged with Adam. I loved him very much. Uh, can I see the ring? Would you mind, Bernard, can you get the ring, please? Do you want me to take it off? Of course, please. Hey, Bernard, you can see how beautiful Bernard it is. Up. So this was your grandmother's My ring. grandfather actually gave that diamond. It's just the diamond. It's not the setting. This is a beautiful diamond. Thank Jeez. you. Jeez. Give it to Mr. Vaughn, please. Talk to him. It is. Talk, talk to him. Talk to him nice, you feel me? 
Your Honor, how is that legally his? Oh, it's legally his because, you know, you're very smart, and I think it's a really great little scam you have going on for yourself here. It's the donor, he gave it to me, he broke up, therefore I get to keep it. But in these no-fault states, there's also something called fraud. So it is my opinion, and listen to this, it is my opinion that you on purpose did this so you can keep the ring. So it was your action. Your unfaithfulness. Talk to him with the law, bro. She wrote that law down. She said, yes, there is that law where you it is a, a gift, but at the same time, there's another law right here. You know what I'm saying? Won't God do it, man? There's another law right here. That I say this is fraud. For, 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 for fraud. You feel me? Just like that bang cover your big old forehead. You're frauding people thinking you don't have a huge forehead. Pissing me off. You made him break up with you. So therefore, he would have never broken up with you, but for the fact that you got drunk and it was no big deal and you made out with a girl mm. and a boy and then that's it. Let's go. You should be ashamed You should. This. Because what you're doing is that you're abusing the law mm. and you are convincing, manipulating. I, I seriously don't know how she connived you, how she, both of you guys are so handsome. She trying to clap now. Christina trying to clap now. Judge Christina Perez is trying to collab now. You feel me? For smart professionals, how did you let her completely fool you? Oh, no, we have it's a wonderful, beyond I have a wonderful relationship. Sweet, with each I don't of think you wonderful. understand what wonderful is. You don't understand what a relationship is. You don't understand what anything is. Okay? You don't. So based on the evidence, well, I don't have to do anything. I, I'm giving you your ring back. Therefore, I'm not going to uh, you, uh, grant you the money. Okay? So back to you guys. Thank you. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's go, man. That lady pushed me off. Let me get another look at her. Ah! She's just disgusting, my friend. She, oh, man. Anyways, that's the end of the video, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy we got a good ending here. I'm very happy we got a good ending. It makes me feel good about this video as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. What, what would y'all do? What would y'all do if you walked in? It's, wait, first of all, I got a couple questions for y'all. Answer in the comments down below. It's test time. It's test time. This is the test for the video, right? Your first question is, y'all got to answer these questions, man. The first question is, is kissing cheating? Second question is, you got a you got a number in the comments. So one, is kissing cheating? Yes. Two, whatever. Two, you feel me? What the heck? Do you, no. Do you think being drunk excuses cheating or doing anything wrong? Do you think you're unable to control yourself when you're drunk? That's the second question. The third question, my my girls and my ladies and my mans, you feel me? What would you have done if you walked in on your fiance the day before y'all was supposed to get married and they was doing that foolishness? Y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. Before you dip out, man, Jewel.com, I'll send you my two and free money, I'll send you $50. That's really about it. I'ma see y'all. Ouch. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through